Hey everyone, I'm Clement, and today we'll be using Ophio to create a great looking IG Stories promo. So let's begin. To start by clicking the build your own design to start designing in the blank canvas. Next, let's change the size to an IG Story format. Once done, we can start uploading our products into the canvas. You can either drag and drop the product or click the upload button. We'll go ahead and select the three products and resize them and align them to the middle. To easily align the product to the canvas, you can use the transform tool and click this button. Once we've done the product, let's start changing the background color. We can start adding some graphic elements to the canvas. There are more than 1000 graphics in Ophio, and hovering any of them will actually show a preview of the animation. For this example, we'll be using the paint graphic pack. And this graphic element is the one that we will be using for the animation align it to the center of the canvas. Select the layer and bring all the way to the bottom and we can start adjusting the graphics. Push it to 45 degrees and we can zoom out to see a bigger picture of the canvas. Next we can start adjusting the colors of the graphics. You can do so by clicking the adjust button and moving the sliders of the hue, contrast, saturation and brightness. Once done, I can duplicate this layer by clicking the copy button. And I'll just move it a little bit lower and adjust the colors to somewhat like a pink. Once you're done adjusting, I could press spacebar or click the play button to do the preview. The animation feels a little bit too linear and too duplicated. To make it a little bit more dynamic, what we could do is select one of the layers and click the animate button and offset the duration by 0.3 seconds. And let's do another preview. As you can see from the preview, now the paint stroke starts at a different time and ends at a different time, so that actually helps to make the animation look a little bit more interesting. Once we're done with the paint strokes, let's start adding a confetti into the animation. Go to the overlay graphics pack. Click on this confetti version tool. Once it's added, let's start adjusting the graphics to the middle of the screen. Push the layer all the way to the bottom. Let's do a preview. Pretty cool. So we're pretty much done with the main structure of the animation. Now it's time to start adding some text into our video. I can do so by clicking the add text button. And for this example, we'll be using the font pop-ins. And resize the text a little. Change the color to somewhat like a gray. And duplicate the text. Type in sales for the second text, hold the text. In order for text to be reviewed by the paint stroke later, we can change the text to the main background color. We will not be able to see the text now, but once adding the paint stroke, you will be able to see the animation later. So for this, we will be using this paint stroke and place it all the way to the back of the text. And shift it a little bit. As you can see, the simple trick actually shows that the text is actually being reviewed by the paint. I also adjust the paint stroke to fit the colors of the video. Next, let's start by editing the animation of the text. We'll do a simple like speed on the left. And we'll do the same for the rest of our products and text. Let's add a swipe up animation for our IG story. We could go to the IG stories pack and select this. And we'll duplicate a text to tell people what they can see when they swipe up the animation. Just a quick tip, sometimes it tends to be a little difficult to select the layers that you are looking for. So what you could do is to actually lock some of the layers. We can actually select the layers much more easily. Now we are all done with the animation. We'll proceed with adding the music to the animation. You could easily preview the music just by clicking the play button. And once selected, you can click the download button and you're done with your animation. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope it actually helped you in creating your next Ophio video. See you next time.